Today, we are gathered for the third annual Hawaii Invasive Species Awareness Week in concurrence with the National Invasive Species Awareness Week. And for the first time, Invasive Species Awareness Week is being celebrated internationally across the Pacific, thanks to the collaboration with partners in Palau and Samoa. We join others across the nation and across the Pacific Ocean to recognize this important issue that especially impacts our island nations. As a resident of this great state, we all know that Hawaii is special. But what makes Hawaii special is not just the unique way, way of life that we all enjoy here today. Hawaii has been unique since birth rising out of the ocean in an explosion of new land millions and millions of years ago. To that barren new land long ago came seeds and spores carried by the wind and waves and on the wings of birds. They came slowly, with thousands of years passing between the arrival of one species and the arrival of another. In their isolation here in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and over millions of years, they evolved into one of the most unique and celebrated collections of species in the world. Many of Hawaii's native plants and animals are found nowhere else in the world. Our ohua lehua, our koa trees, our iivi and apapana birds, our singing, our singing tree snails are truly exceptional and irreplaceable. Of course, an important part of Hawaii's history is our history, the human story. When the first voyagers reached Hawaii just a thousand or so years ago, Hawaii for the first time had plant and animal species that were introduced not by their own means of transport, but by the efforts of humans. In those first voyaging canoes came about 30 new species carried by humans, many of which are still used today, such as kava and taro, tea, kukui, along with the small Polynesian pig and rat. Later came more boats, this time from Europe, bringing hundreds of plants and animals, including cattle, goats, mangoes, and other larger pigs. And still later, we find ourselves here in Hawaii among a globalized network of travel and trade with thousands and thousands of new plants and animals living amongst us. Not all of those species are problematic, of course, there are some, like mosquitoes, that we could all probably do without. Those relatively few species that are truly impactful, that disrupt on our precious environment, agriculture, or the way of life, those are the ones that we call invasive species. Only in the last 30 years or so, have we as a society really begun to recognize the idea of invasive species and the impacts that they have on our lives. We're gathered here today to affirm that in Hawaii of all places, we recognize the threats posed by invasive species and are committed to protecting our islands wherever possible. My administration has made invasive species one of its top priorities. We are committed to open and collaborative approaches to dealing with this cross-sectoral problem. In 2003, the state legislature created the Hawaii Invasive Species Council, or HISC, after declaring invasive species as the single greatest threat to our economy, natural and cultural resources, agriculture, and the health and lifestyle of our communities. The HISC is made up of critical members of my cabinet that address the variety of impacts that invasive species can have on Hawaii's environment, 
on our agriculture, on our tourist industry, on our health, and on our way of life. As a state senator, I ensured that the agencies comprising the HISC had the fiscal and operating resources necessary to get the job done. That means increasing the number of agricultural inspectors over recent years, new funding for watersheds and native forest restoration, and increased funding for research and interagency projects under the direction of the HISC. As your governor, I'm committed to finding new cost-effective solutions to those challenging problems. My administration's package this year includes pro proposed legislation to increase the effect effectiveness of our inter-island biosecurity efforts <coughs> through the development of compliance agreements under the D Hawaii Department of Agriculture and the expansion of the Haw department's biosecurity program to become a department-wide effort. The theme of this year's Hawaii Invasive Species Awareness Week is Invasive Species is Everyone's Kuleana. We've seen this to be true more than ever in this past year as some of our most important de detections of invasive species such as the little red fire ant in Mililani Mauka or on the north shore of Maui have come from the public. Our state agencies and partners cannot be the only eyes and ears of the state when it comes to detecting invasive species. The people who know Hawaii best are all of the people of Hawaii, all of you together. The public plays such an important role in this fight against invasive species by reporting species to the state via the 643 PEST hotline and other means. In the past year alone, the public has reported beetles from their yards, most of which turned out not to be the rhinoceros beetle, little fire ants from their workplaces, and even giant coconut crabs walking down Salt Lake Boulevard. <laughs> We all share the impacts of invasive species too. I think we all enjoy the sight of healthy coconut palms blowing in the breeze and being able to walk across our yards or park safely when the coconut rhinoceros beetles threatens our coconut and native lo'ulu palms and the little fire ants threatens to invade our homes and sting our pets we are truly all in this together. When invasive species impact our economy, when we all share in that impact, a recent study about the invasive brown tree snakes, which we thankfully do not have in Hawaii at this time, estimated that the impact to our state in lost tourism, damage to electrical infrastructure, and medical costs from snake bites could total over $2 billion. Investing in prevention and control of invasive species is cost effective. Dr. Donna Lee, a University of Hawaii professor, recently published a paper showing that for little red fire ants, an investment now of about $8 million over the next few years can save our state over $1.2 billion to control the ants later on. Similarly, a UH study by Dr. Kim Burnett has shown that investing in interagency programs that combat plants like myconia can save the state from hundreds of millions of dollars in damage each and every year, lost in groundwater recharge and endangered bird habitat. Further, our state investments in invasive species prevention and control leverage non-state funds to get the job done. In fiscal year 2015, the state invested $5.75 million in interagency research and implementation projects by the Hawaii Invasive Species Council, which are estimated to leverage non-state funds on a one-to-one -one basis. We are here today not just to recognize the impact of invasive species, but to take a moment to pause and recognize 
the good work of those who seek to protect Hawaii from those impacts. We recognize our state agencies, our Department of Agriculture, conducting border inspections and leading our interagency responses to coconut rhinoceros beetle, our Department of Land and Natural Resources, protecting our native forest, our native bird species, and our pre precious source of fresh drinking water. Our Department of Health, detecting mosquitoes that might carry malaria and other illnesses. Our Department of Transportation, working to control dangerous albizia along roadways and find new innovative so solutions to detecting invasive species at airport facilities. Our Department of Business and Economic Development and Tourism, leading the way in planning for a changing climate and the expansion of invas invasive species distributions in our waters and on land. And our University of Hawaii, providing cutting edge research on ways to control invasive species and detailing cost-effective strategies for mitigation. We recognize our federal partners, including the military's exemplary contribution to the detection and control of coconut rhinoceros beetle, and for the outstanding partnership with the U.S. Department of Agriculture and the U.S. Department of Interior in protecting our homes. We recognize the importance of our business leaders, our partners in the nursery industry, in the shipping industry, and in the tourism industry who adopt best management practices to minimize the threat of invasive species. And we recognize our dedicated, caring citizens and volunteers who spend their Saturdays and Sundays in the forest, pulling weeds, and encouraging others to do so, and other work so important to fighting the battle against invasive species. We recognize all of these groups to, together and all at once because invasive species are everyone's kuleana. It is really an honor and privilege for me and Lieutenant Governor Shan Tsutsui to is issue a proclamation uh, presented to the HISC um, declaring the Hawaii Invasive Species Awareness Week.